when we came it has been a very in a carefully choreographed interview with arise tv president buhari once again fumbled and bumbled leaving nigerians on the edge nigerians were tired of hearing the ridiculous statements emanating from the duo of gabashio and femi additional and had been waiting to hear their president speak on burning national issues but instead of using this opportunity to console, assure, and unite Nigerians, he once again displayed all the traits he is known for. He confirmed to Nigerians that the Fulani headers are his number one priority and that he will do anything to protect them. He persisted in his disdain and disregard for the Igbos and betrayed his lack of intellectual depth, goofing on almost all the questions. Since the last time he spoke to Nigerians, hundreds more have died at the hands of his kinsmen headsmen. Hundreds of students have been kidnapped and some killed. And just last weekend, scores were killed in Iganga, or your state, by headsmen. And not a word of consolation by one who is supposed to be the father of the nation. He chose to ban Twitter just like he banned iPod and bans anything he can't understand, but supports murderous headsmen by defending and supporting the archaic anachronistic practice of open and nomadic grazing. He claimed that the ban on AK-47s was still in effect and accepts that foreign Fulani headsmen were those carrying guns. Yet, none of them has been arrested or charged, even though they kill and maim daily. The economy is in tatters, rumors of war abound. Thousands have been killed, thousands kidnapped, and yet, he laughs. He seems to believe that he wields some magical power over the North, but he is mistaken, as the cry of Buhari must go is loudest in the North. President Buhari, it is clear that you can't give what you don't have and this is one point Nigerians from all walks of life agree on. Fear will surely give way someday to courage and the National Assembly will do the needful. But until then, please spare us the interviews.